guys, it's Jenna again. Um, sorry, I just realized my hair's like all crazy right now. Sorry, um, uh, ignore that. Um, so I, I'm going to talk about, um, the Rocky Horror Picture Show remake that, uh, aired last night. And, um, very, very unpleased with that remake. Um, I know about a month or so ago when I did um, a little video about like all the Tim Curry uh, movie remakes that are coming up, I know I mentioned uh, Rocky Horror, um, and I know I kind of I've said um, I said in that video I was like I'm really not looking forward to it, um, but you know I was like you know what, I I should give it a fair chance. I know I'm really really tough on remakes, um, and the thing is is that, like I don't. Like, I don't hate every remake that I've seen. Um, there's a few remakes that I actually, I do enjoy. Um, like, The Fly, I enjoy from the 80s with Jeff Goldblum and Gina Davis. Um, The Blob, also from the 80s with, uh, Shawnee Smith. Um, I, I even like, uh, Tom Savini's remake of, uh, Night of the Living Dead. I mean, so there's, there's remakes that I do like, um, for sure, but... This just, my dog's taken more interesting dumps than this remake, truly. Um, it just, oh, it was horrible. It was horrible. Um, and I mean, not nothing against like any of like the actors really or, or anything. Um, I mean, I know like, like Laverne Cox, I like her. Um, I'm sure, you know, like Adam Lambert, I know he's very very talented individual um so many things about this movie that just was wrong on every level um although it was it was nice to see it was nice to see Tim Curry in it uh because I believe this was his first uh role that he's done since he had a stroke a few years ago so I mean it was it was good to see him I thought you know he did he did a great job as he always does um but it's, it's still, his performance as the narrator just still couldn't salvage this movie. Um, God, where do it, where do it even begin? Like, the acting alone in a lot of the scenes with, um, with a, almost every actor, I feel, had scenes where they just very, a very awkward performance, not in a good way. Like, like, you know, like, um... Barry Bostwick's, uh, portrayal of Brad in the original movie, like, um, like, he was very kind of awkward in that movie, but, like, his character was awkward. He was an, he was an awkward, um, you know, an awkward guy in that movie, and it, it works, but, like, in this, there's just so many, like, awkward acting of almost, like, the actors almost felt like they weren't sure, like, what to do. They just knew, like, they wanted to do the world different, um, bad, bad acting, um, and, like, Riff Raff's character, like, I don't know how, I don't know if this is just how I feel or if anyone else felt like this, but I felt like Riff Raff's character, like, the guy who played him, played him like he was, um, like, almost slightly mentally challenged, and I feel bad for saying that, because I'm not saying, like, if you're mentally challenged, or you know someone mentally, who's mentally challenged, like, that's a bad thing, like, that's not a bad thing at all, if, um, if you are, like, but I just felt like the character was, like, stupid, um, and it's, like, because I know Richard, Richard O'Brien, who, initially played that part both in the, uh, like, Broadway production, um, like, over in England and everything, and in the movie, like, he, like, he played it, played Riff Raff, like, very intelligently, like, you know, Riff Raff, you could tell, was very smart, like, little, you know, like, you knew he was up to something, but he was intelligent, you know, but just in this version, the actor who played him, just, I, like I said, I felt like he was, playing him like he was stupid. Um, and then what was, what was at the end, like, with, like, the guitar being, like, the laser? Like, that was stupid, like, like, you know, back then, like, in the original movie, it was kind of like, um, 
it sort of like was sort of like a a glam rock type of get up with uh, magenta and riff raff back in the day like but they really overdid it like I just kept thinking like what is this like are you guys from a 1970s glam rock band like what uh just it was like, <sighs> and then like with a uh, rose tint my world like what was up with that dance that Laverne Cox did like did she channel uh, Tina Turner or something like did she automatically think like they were redoing uh, the Who's Tommy like what like what you know that was bad it was horrible um and like magenta's hair like like it literally was magenta which I guess makes sense because I mean her, she's playing magenta but really really like in the original movie uh uh, Magenta, played by Patricia Ki Patricia Quinn. Slow down, Jenna. Um, like, she had red hair. And it's still, like, even though you were like, dude, her hair's not Magenta, why is she called Magenta? You didn't really think of it. It was like, whatever. Close enough. Um. Oh. Just, oh. And then, I don't know, like, back to Laverne Cox's character. The whole, like, I didn't, she's playing Dr. Frankenfurter. He's supposed to be a transsexual transvestite, uh, but I'm like, you're, like, and I know in real life she's transgender, I know, but I'm like, when I'm watching her, like, I don't think of her as, like, oh, she used to be a male, like, born male and transgendered, or transi transitioned into female, like, I straight up see her as, like, a female actress, I do, I, I see her as a female human being. But I'm like, you're playing a, a character that's supposed to be a guy dressing up as a girl. It doesn't really work for this movie. I'm sorry, it doesn't. Um, and by the way, because I kind of, I saw something, um, like maybe the day before the movie aired about people being like offended by like, oh, the transvestite song. Oh, oh. Uh, people were like up, up in arms, especially because, you know, once again, uh, Laverne Cox is you know, transgender. I hate to use that label on her. Like, I'm sorry, she's a woman now. She's, you know, you don't need to call her transgender. You don't. Um, but it's like, transvestite, I'm sorry, but is completely different. Transvestite's completely different from someone who is transsexual or tra uh, or transgender. Um, so I don't know why people were in such up in arms about that. I really don't whatever um but yeah I just uh, I was so disappointed by this movie I just I tried tried to kind of give it the benefit of the doubt see what you know kind of new stuff that ran to the table and it just it didn't work at all I really didn't you guys you know you guys really should have just left this one alone and not done a remake of Rocky Horror you really shouldn't have uh people behind it I'm not gonna blame the actors or anything uh but the people behind it you dropped the ball on this remake you really really did um what else oh oh and the uh time warp um anyone else upset that they changed up the time warp dance because I am like I am miffed that's like being like hey let's uh you know like, remake the song YMCA and totally change the dance that goes with it. Or the Macarena, you know, or, you know, any one of those, like, dances that there's, like, a, a staple dance sequence to. That was, that was big no-no for me. That, about that point, even though I was unhappy up to that point, but even then I was like, I'm done. I'm done. Um... The other thing that I kind of made me also was like, okay, I'm already done with this, was the whole, like, fan participation thing, um, which I've kind of, I don't think I did in my last video about, like, the Tim Curry remakes, but I know I've kind of said on, um, uh, like, Facebook and stuff, I was like, I'm like, they're doing, like, the fan participation aspect of this, like, no, that is bad idea, um, because, I mean, like, what it was was, like, you know, the a, a theater of people 
were sitting there watching this movie up on the screen, which I guess was supposed to be an homage of actually, like, watching, like, the stage production of Rocky Horror, which I was like, that could have been kind of cool, but it's, like, it's on a movie screen, and you guys are doing the, the fan participation aspect of it. It's like, no, like, once again, like, you should go get your Rocky Horror picture show cherry popped and learn the participation yourself, like, as you're initially viewing this in a theater. Like, that was just... That was stupid. That was dumb. Um, I just... Once, I, once again, I'm just, I was so disappointed with this movie. Um, and it seems like a lot of people were. Uh, you know, I, I, was gonna, I was trying to stay away from, like, social media about, you know, seeing it, other people's comments about this. Because I really didn't want that so much to influence my mind of how much I didn't like this. Um, but, you know, I, I did see a few posts, like, right before I was leaving work, and I was just like, all right, I just kind of want to see, and overall, it does seem like a lot of people were not happy with this remake, so I'm kind of like, all right, at least I know I'm not the only one who's, like, with it. Um, just, like, I just, I'm so just disappointed with this movie. I really am. Um, like, I was even, I was even actually, uh, once again, like, right before I, I left work today, um, I was talking to, uh, one of my team leads about it. I was like, hey, did you, you know, did you check out the Rocky Horror remake last night? He's like, oh, no, no, I, you know, missed it, you know. He's like, how was it, though? He's like, you know, because I, you know, didn't really have high expectations for it. I'm like, dude, it sucked. It was horrible. Um, and he even kind of... Um, and I, he kind of made a comment that I 100% agree with. Um, you know, he said something along the lines of, like, you know, Rocky Horror is one of those, like, such iconic roles or movies that people hold so dearly to their heart that it really did not need a remake. And I I agree with that. It It's one of those special movies where... I'm not saying that other remakes, like, uh, you know, the originals didn't, you know, touch people and influence people like Rocky Horror, but I feel like Rocky Horror is so, just still to this day, so beloved. Um, usually when people stumble upon that movie, they really take to it because, you know, they might be, you know, like, the outsiders and stuff. Like, I feel like a lot of horror fans kind of, are drawn to this movie because there's a lot of like you know like horror influences and everything like obviously like the first thing you think of is Frankenstein you know Frankenfurter obviously being Dr. Frankenstein and he's creating his own monster and stuff um you know and in general obviously like you know a lot of us horror fans are kind of like you know like the outsiders but when we see that movie or when someone sees that movie Rocky Horror, that original movie, it's just, there's something, you know, like, each one of those characters are so different from each other that, like, you easily could, like, find that character that you are drawn to, no matter who it is, whether it's Eddie, Dr. Frank, Magenta, Riff Raff, Brad, Janet, um, even Rocky himself, or the narrator himself, um... That it just, it, it killed it. I really do think it killed it. And I feel terrible for people who may have watched this remake and never seeing the original. Um, that, you know, such a horrible rendition of it that I feel just like those people were totally robbed of an experience. Um, so if you've never seen the original... First off, if you've never seen the original, but you saw the remake, what's wrong with you? But um, if, you, if you've if you never seen the original, totally dismiss this remake. Just, you know, erase it from your memory and go and watch the remake, or not the remake, the original. Watch the original, because it's, it's such a good movie. It's, it's perfect. So, um, but yeah, so that's just my thoughts on Rocky Horror. 
Uh, let me know what you guys think for those of you who have seen it already. Um, you know, and if you guys like it, like, I'm not sure what you saw in it, but if you did, let me know. You know, let me know. Like, you know me. Like, if you, if you like something that I didn't like, I'd like to know what you liked about it. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, troll you or anything. You know, that's what I do my channel for, so that way you guys can, like, give some feedback without being, like yelled at for liking something or disliking something but yeah let me know um but like I said that's just kind of my two cents um but until next time you guys I'm gonna get going you guys have a great Friday night and hopefully I'll be seeing you again in the next day or two with I don't know a horror pack or something I don't know who knows um but till then you guys you guys stay creepy and as always stay classy